It's Armor Core 3, and I didn't mean to end the poll. YouTube glitched out, but hey, look at FMP. Let's watch it. I'll oh, have to move the head around, aren't I? Good to see you, Dragon Man. Oof. Thank you, by the way. And OCD and Big T and Bob and Tyler Addy. watch something like this go on all day hey cobal ned's already got it pre-ordered hell yeah i'm with you you shouldn't pre-order games but i i i love armored core come on Well, Dragon Man, I do have some of the PS2 Castlevania ones, and that's what you mean by, like, the other ones, uh, the PS2 ones, but not the 361 Lords of Shadow. Maybe I should try it, but I don't know. So the cool thing about this game is that you can convert your save data. So all that work we did in Armored Core 3, I carries over. Lapse of time is better than No More Cry, but I do like the title of No More Cry. OCDE, No More Cry is a good layered and underground refugee. Refuge. Humanity's last chance to resolve a prolonged national conflict, turn the plant substance and hospitable wasteland. Those who dealt in the sanctuary did so under the yoke of oppressive corporate conglomerates and an artificial intelligence entity known as a controller. This arrangement continued for centuries, and as time passed, the residents of Laird grew even more complacent. Not everyone bought into this existence, and it wasn't long ago that an individual took matters into their own hands. This person, the member of an elite group called Ravens, destroyed the controller and freed mankind from its grasp. A new age began that day, and humans were once again able to return the planet's surface, now healed of the wounds that it suffered. At the same time, humans that were freed from their self-imposed exile were too... So too are the corporations free from the shackles out of them by the controller. That was quick. With nothing to stand in their way, the corporations immediately commenced plans to redevelop the plant surface. Present. Service redevelopment plans were well underway, but a recent string of unexplained events is slow progress. Why so fast? Attempts have been made to investigate further with the region where occurrences took place in years it's unpassable corporate conflicts over such things in lands and mineral rights becoming increasingly common the suspicions raised by recent events are adding fuel to the already volatile situation as always corporate disputes are settled with the aid of an impartial third party a raven car with the situation on the surface steadily escalating out of control can there ever be hope for a lasting peace all that has been recovered is on the brink of being lost yet again It's too quick. I can't say the words in time. That was it. There's like that cool FMV, but they just give you that. No, yeah, it's fine. Huh? Yeah, let's go over to the system here. Got to rebind my keys.
and make sure that works. Now we can test it in the arena. How bad? How bad could I fuck that up? I don't think I could have done that very badly. Oh, little bear, you're about to have a bad day. Hey, she know. Hey, Garg. Just testing my controls here for the most part. Oh yeah, this is a hover type. I'm gonna not get all the controls down through this, but we can probably take this guy, right? Okay. I'm so afraid to touch the face buttons. I need to do that. Usually I go with the default control scheme, but I realized I'm being stupid. Yet I'm, I'm terrified for whatever reason through muscle memory to press any of the buttons on the face. But I gotta get, I gotta somehow get my mind to look at this like a FPS game, or at least a more modern game anyways. More modern Armored Core games had better controls. But I mean, I don't know. I'd say that is a fault of this game because, you know, the PS2 had the analog sticks. It's not like they weren't there, right? It was melting. There we go. That's good. All right. Uh, this should be fine. Howdy, Cowboy Preston. Let's watch re replay. Why not? Let's go. Armored Core's a good get if you like customization and fancy robot fights. That being said, it's a bit merciless and uh, best way to put it, it's a real traditional style game, right? It sticks to its core. I think my volume may be a little high. Override mech CD brawl. You'd probably enjoy this then. It's mechs. Mechs are fun. It's got a great 2000 soundtrack. Oh man, I played like shit. Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, I, I'm cursed watching. No, okay, it stopped. We'll do a few arena fights so I can get my hands on the controls again, and then we'll get back into it. One thing you really want to do in this game, at least in my opinion, is change the controls because uh, L2 and R2 are look up and look down. And R1 and R2 are uh, move left and move right. Left and right makes sense, but the look up and down does not. I can't change it now. We're just going to go with the crab. All right. Also, I keep wanting to grab the analog sticks. They do not work. Oh, yeah. Is the head block anything important? No, actually, it fits. It's nestled just nicely. Okay, that's fine. Plasma and energy weapons are pretty strong in this game. Let's watch replay of that. I played just fine. What is the story? I read it at the start, but in this one, there was a giant AI that was controlling the planet, but then we kicked its ass. But after the AI was like, you know, thoroughly ass beaten into the dirt, well, the corporations that it controlled went back to doing their business so it's like hey uh new say hi to the new boss the same as the old boss 
but also there's something sinister going on in the background as well which means not all is well yeah i'm still uh rusty now i mean armor core 3 i'm still rusty the stuff you can do in this game is really crazy if you're willing to put the time in in fact, uh, I think it's kind of a joke. I don't know if it's entirely serious these days. But if I recall, the optimal control method is holding the PlayStation 2 controller upside down. But I think that might just be a crazy person who's really good at the game playing it in a funny way. You know what I mean? Okay, well, we'll kill Bouquet and we'll call that practice. She suffered amnesia. Well, she's going to hope she could forget this. And you use the tailways. Uh, people are crazy, you know. This little mech's fun because, like, you, you don't use a booster much on him if you're smart. But he's already super fast. And the regular plasma rifle does hit pretty hard. Missing a lot of shots isn't going to do me any good, though. It's not high on ammo. Not a bad dueling bot, though. So while I got to lock on with that rifle, I still have to kind of finesse where my robot's aiming. In case you haven't seen Armored Core before. I'm going to explain some of the core mechanics that you don't see represented by the HUD. I mean, it's pretty boilerplate stuff. Once you pick up the game, you should understand. But log on means I'm targeting him, but there's a bit of a give from left, right, and up and down, depending on my character's momentum. So your momentum for your mech can kind of influence where your shot's going to head. So, including where you turn to so you're locking on and it is kind of automatically aiming but you have a chance to adjust for when say this enemy moves to the left right there i'm kind of like you know tweaking to the left a little bit and pulling to the right you know what i mean that's true too it takes about half a second after achieving a lock on before i have a true lock on is that true i thought certain fcs's could do it quicker maybe i'm wrong Dark says, does my sweat smell and taste like... Oh, no, he's asking Jackson a question. Well, that's not for me. I got emails. Great match. Thank you, little bear. How polite. How nice. And I got a arm part, which I kind of don't need. Maybe we'll build a. Let's build a new AC. Oh wait, I should probably read this one. My name is Emma Sears. Ah, oh, cool. I, I love your catalogs, Miss Sears. I've been appointed as your global cortex agent. If it's all right with you, I'd like to get right down to business, shall we? Okay. Don't mind if I do. Redevelopment of the planet surfaces. I'll just read ahead of myself. Redevelopment of the planet's surface began shortly after the controller was destroyed. The only real problems early on had to do with corporate squabbling, but the new threat has presented itself more recently. The source of this threat is believed to lie somewhere in the vast expanse known as the Silent Line, a region that remains largely unexplored. The corporations are eager to begin their development in this region have temporarily shelved their exploration plans until more is known about the recent attacks on the nearby facilities this delay probably won't last very long though they'll make their move once the urge to capitalize on the region grows too hard to resist expect to see your area of operations expanded in the near future uh, blah 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 cool on the off chance it was not mentioned during the initial screening process, please allow me to briefly highlight a few aspects of what exactly the Global Cortex does. Our firm specializes in dispute resolution, the majority of which relies relates to corporate rivalry. <laughs> not in the mood to read today, but we're going to read anyways. 
We help and fund we help fund and supply mercenaries such as yourself, and for a hefty fee, offer our clients access to the stable of mediators. As far as a red slash client relationship is concerned, that is something we allow both parties to settle on by themselves. We do not force requests upon pilots, nor do we tell clients which pilots they have to employ. This hands-off approach also extends to issues that may arise between a client and yourself. For all intents and purposes, Global Cortex responsibilities end once you're locked into a mission contract. Services we do offer to those who are Services we do offer to those in our employ include AC repairs, access to part upgrades and ammunition stores, as well as a limited mission update support. Costs are associated with most of these, so keep track of your credits. And they mention it though. So as we build our new robot, there's a thing called cost. Now I have, I have so much in-game money, it doesn't matter. That AC3 save is awesome, but let's, uh, Yeah, we can always make another tank type. We don't need everything to be so brutal. We get like crap boost power, but the charge drain and energy drains like nothing. But I'm gonna be really relying on my boost to move around. Let's get the faster one. It'll probably be fine. storage and look I just like that pulse cannon it does good work <laughs> and we could be we could be a little bastard and bring in the Karasawa though you know I want to show that off anyways I'll put it away if it's too much. We'll like use some weaker weapons and make it a little bit more balanced, but this game is not going to be fair. It is going to step up and soundly kick our ass if we're not careful. So I don't feel too bad bringing. Oh yeah, paint job. Hold on. That paint job's a little boring, isn't it? Paint. We'll keep it simple, but have fun. Uh Hey, stupid, good to see ya. Still a little boring, but hey, green camo. Best I can do in short notice. 
Look, it's basic, but it's a classic. Let's give him a test just to make sure I'm not doing something immensely stupid here, though. I, I don't think this is a great build, by the way. But hey. Hey, thank you, Pokestores. Good to see you, man. Hope you're having a good one. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's going to take some getting used to the different controls, but I don't mind trying. If I remember right, this is the one where you can blow a hole open in this and get another part, but I don't know, I probably just lost my mind. Doesn't matter anyways, I'm here to test something else. I keep holding down a uh, square, which just has me going left. That's why my character's always going left, because I'm like, yeah, boost. But no. I'm using the more sane control method, which for whatever reason is just blasphemy to my mind. And my brain wants to control it the fucked up way. <laughs> Brain's like, no, no, the, the the bad way. We do this the bad way, remember? I'm like, no, we don't. That's stupid. <laughs> Getting stuck in that mentality is dumb. Why would you not play it the more efficient way to where you can look up and down? I mean, sure, there's lock on, but sometimes you just want to look up and shoot at something. Why make that hard? Hey, thank you, Pogosaurus. I'm doing good. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Garg says Armored Core 6 is only AAA release. Isn't making you nervous? Well, I'll hold up my reservation for the PC port. We'll see. Elden Ring wasn't exactly... I mean, the Elden Ring was fucked up for... I think I haven't tested it. I know they put a ray tracing patch in there, but I haven't tried Elden Ring. When did Elden Ring stop having hitching issues? It took a long time. Lawyer's well, open. So yeah, I want to use a different core here. And I'm going to go for this one because it has a ridiculous amount of optional parts. What are optional parts? Don't worry about it. Actually, you should worry about it. They're really good. They do, thing like, do things like reducing energy when firing. Oh, yeah. I got OP intensify. It just uses up all your slots anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, never mind. Shut my mouth. That would be, uh, that'd be an issue on a different character, but not this one. This build's wacky, but it'll work for now. No, I didn't unlock everything for Intensify OCD. I couldn't beat the stupid giant robot with the break apart flying mech thing that was going to be too much of a pain in the ass that was going to take forever we could go back and do that but i don't think it's necessary eliminate rogue engineer from crest raven we have an urgent assignment your target is one of the engineers involved in the construction of our newest facility he must be eliminated the facility in question will eventually serve as a military outpost. The fact that it is still under construction does not in any way diminish our concern for maintaining secrecy. To this end, 
all engineers involved in the project are to be confined there for an unspecified amount of time upon its completion. One of them refused and took control of the security system. It may seem like a drastic measure, but the only way we can guarantee his silence is to eliminate him. Good luck. Like at the start of every single one of these games, there's a dispute and some kind of worker right and they send you in your giant death machine to quell the riffraff that's fun this got cruelty squad really quick it does it gets real quick with that hey raging raven good to see you again this is your first ever ac game it's a hell of one to start on that's for sure i got a little artifacting under okay and cancel uh there's a new version of the ps2 emulator i don't know how i lost the old one but here we are seems to run okay though <laughs> here is negan with five bucks thank you for the generous tip negan he says been making a gta show got three episodes so far and voices this weekend not releasing until they're all finished there you go I'm always happy to see folks making art Release the gate locks one by one. I should. Area secured. Proceed to be Oh, oh yeah, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to this. I'm so used to playing it the, the messed up way. <laughs> I can kind of retrain myself. Gate check cannot unlock gate. cannot turn for shit i need to get better legs i need to change them up significantly but hey it's a start the pulse cannon firing off the bank is nice turn radius right that'll get you killed so quick change this build up it's uh he turns slow need some different legs at least i made a profit but i lost half my money to getting shot
Oh, I'm way too over them. This got to make them a little lighter is all. I don't know if there's that much more I want to sacrifice. I might have to change up on the legs even further. Hey, Negan Drock, but another five says Ben from DP is doing a small role and he's a radio DJ. Interested in a small role, very minimum work, and I understand people are very busy. Yeah. Shoot me a message on Twitter, I'll read it over. I appreciate that tip, by the way, Negan. I hope you're having a good one. I'm thinking like, or am I over? Four thousand. Oh yeah, it's not even close to enough. to move in so light oh never mind i think they changed the weight of the car so that's, that's ridiculously heavy yeah we can lighten up and uh change it a bit here Normally I'd be down on the small missiles, but oh wait. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, that weighs nothing. <laughs> We're gonna stick with the uh plasma. Over the shoulder plasma gun. Lots of ammo. Quality stuff. Still got a good generator, still got a good radiator. Nice booster, good legs, arms, heads alright. Pretty much pushing it to the limit, but it's not bad, I don't think. Let's give it a test drive and see if it's ready to go you know what i know a hunter test though we can test it in the arena your old shitter says armored core always looks real cool but i know uh playing this on a controller would be heaven or hell it's uh yeah it, I can't argue in favor of the controls. It's really difficult to look up and down unless you practice a whole lot. There's a few like quirks to how 
the mech pilots but i mean it is a giant metal thing like it should kind of be hard to pilot right i suppose some kind of I might have to replace laser rifle with the regular one and just eat the ammo cost I'm gonna have this speed because the the power output isn't impressive here oh and I still yeah yeah okay we're probably gonna get rid of the pulse cannon too then Yeah, I gotta like kneel down and <laughs> basically leave myself completely vulnerable to use that pulse cannon. So that is worthless. Oh yeah, to say yeah, more armored core. I want to go through silent line and I need a bit of practice, but also it's a good excuse to play around the garage and a few other things. I didn't have intensify on what a waste no wonder that was harder than normal uh, let's see bought ourselves some extra weight though maybe not yeah these are the ones sorry here we go The laser gun saves a lot of money. And the energy drain's not even that bad on it. Having the howitzer on the side's not too bad, but I mean, for long range, pretty worthless. Also costs money to shoot. I oh, don't mind half slack out of sight. He's got like he's got problems but we let him hang around he's fun uh have i listened to the music that is ac dc yeah i've also heard ac bc the caveman version oh pretty good let's see um first things first we gotta get rid of that back laser this uh mech won't make good use of that i think we'll use the laser cannon and a missile launcher that makes the most sense to me go for the most ammo effective one
and an ammo increase that's pretty reasonable that's a very reasonable looking robot arena i'm sorry i was looking for garage but no we go to the arena am i gonna do nexus and last raven after this yeah i hope so I would like to mix that in with like uh, Tears of the Kingdom and a few other things that are coming out soon. That would be a good mix. Diablo 4, Zelda, and Armored Core. Fun balance throwing some Crash Bandicoot in there. We got an easy week. This is better than STDT. <laughs> That's just he stands for Thomas because fuck Thomas. That's right, fuck Thomas. Right in the face. Hey, NFC goes. Armored Core is terrific. It's uh gonna be interesting to see how people take in the new one. Because if they really don't pull any punches on it, it's not gonna be this easy thing. Like you really gotta love it. It's gonna have uh and it's not gonna be another it's gonna be like this kind of just a faster probably better controlling version of it but it's not gonna be this free easy game to where it's like all right well i don't know i think the thing what makes a good game is that it's beatable and these games are beatable nothing wrong nothing false about that but they require patience and a lot of a lot of uh tolerance for rough treatment from the ai Should opt for the better generator. This guy is not doing the damage I need. Advanced Wars, I I fucking love Advanced Wars. You're an old shitter. If you folks would be interested in seeing Advanced Wars reboot camp, I'd be happy to play that. I wouldn't have guessed what, that is one that you'd want to see. I'd figure that one would be a hard pass, but uh, yeah, sure. Advanced Wars would be fun to toss in there. Oh, thank you, NFC Ghost. He needs it needs some changing. I'm not a hundred percent happy with the parts here, or at least the performance. This is geared towards heavy AC designs, but cooling kicks ass. Let's have fun and use my favorite gun. And see if we can get away with that without too many sacrifices. And we could probably bump down the radiator. Actually, it's not too much of a weight change there. And I don't think we can carry much more than 5,000. I think we're way over. It's a problem. But just for the sake of curiosity, let's ditch a few things and see what we can do. Okay. 
so it's not unreasonable to ditch the radiator for this one keep the high-end generator this booster saves a few pounds Those arms are lightweight. And that gives us a pretty good amount of space. Not a big fan of the weaker missiles though. So let's uh, be picky here. I mean, I am bringing in the Karasawa, but I like to have a backup, but I just don't think I'm gonna get that. Not with the weight being pushed like that. I guess we do have the energy blade. I could ditch it. We could just go no left arm. 250 weight. I mean, that's the, that's significant. That's still not enough to give me what I want though. The mid-sized rockets ain't bad. these are more tank tread weapons probably could deal with unlocking a few more things independent weapon pods are fun and since they're energy they don't cost uh any ammo really but this is like this will get you in trouble i got a i got a good whopper of a rifle here but everything else is kind of not great see damage on these guys is pretty high I think I'll just have to go with the regular missiles a little 10% bump in ammo oh yeah the howitzer the howitzer is not a bad backup it's really one of the better ones it's lightweight the attack power is high pretty inaccurate but I mean like you get 50 rounds so you know if you're in real dire straits it'll help out plus you can fire it while you're firing the other weapon and double down on your damage lazy boy i have heard of sudden strike i liked it. desert strike hey yo getting in the fan hey yeah, I did import my stuff from AC3. I was told if it's too easy, just like lower your equipment, but I just feel like building a crazy fun mech. Importing your save into Silent Line gives you a chance to just go wacky with the parts because the easier missions are kind of, you know, floppy and you got these arena opponents that you should be able to waste pretty easily. Plus all the money. So I could just go full bullets if I want to. I'm gonna try to not. Do another Carl impression. Hey, fry me. I can't do a great Carl. <laughs> I try. We all try. Hey, look at that big generator. Get face fucked with the car sorrow, that's your business. Missile defense would help in the arena, but we're not we're probably not gonna see too many missiles on the in the wild, maybe. And if we do, I guess we'll adjust. But I mean it's doing the trick basically. <laughs> Aquatine Iron Force. Can I do meat wide? No, I cannot. I can barely do Carl. That's just me having fun. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a good one. All right, all right. I'm not a huge fan with how it moves. 
and I'd like to put a like at least some kind of missile defense system on this but I don't think we're gonna get much better than this At least not without fat legs. And I think legs any bigger than that, you may as well go quadruped or hover. Well, I like the bipeds, they look neat. There is this booster that is very lightweight. I think I'll buy it just to have a lot that lightweight part in the uh mix there. Here's a crap radiator that weighs nothing. You don't get much adult swim stuff in the UK. That sucks. Here in Canada, they're going to pass laws like Section Canada off from the internet. And what is it, Ohio? No, Utah. Yeah, like in Utah, they blocked Pornhub. And now you got to like give the government your phone number and go, Hello, yes, my name is John Q. Pervert. And I want to see... <laughs> Chicks with text nine, please. And if you could please go on ahead and uh, give me my identification quickly, I really must get to my porn video, please. Which is great. That's yeah, <laughs> that's that's real fun. Uh, whatever. Uh, you know, I don't live in that state, so it's not my problem. But <laughs> that's fucking funny. <laughs> that's really funny. The more I think about it, the funnier it is. <laughs> hello hello I'm look hello mr senator yes yeah, so i just i got my cell phone here i'm calling you in advance i, I want to see i want to see bbw's the the, the 600 pound life pornography where they get the women who are on the show when you get like these five guys to fuck her yeah i, I need to go watch that now i would really like permission oh thank you i got for permission oh it's good well, I guess you can have my driver's license number and social security. I'll take a picture of my ID with my phone and send it to you so you can verify who I am. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Shit, I don't want to do that in any circumstance. I don't think it would be the porn that would upset me. It's like, I don't want to send a picture of my ID to the computer. It's... That goes against every security thing ever. <laughs> Nah, sleepy dog zone they won't ban porn in texas because it's too profitable texas can be backwards but like abortions don't really make a lot of money so you know there's that if, if abortions made big bucks then you could bet texas wouldn't ban a single one of them <laughs> pretty sure animated porn counts dragon man you're gonna be like hello senator i want to see bubblegum uguchi san 42 <laughs> like, what kind of pornography is that yes it is pornography hey sugar but thanks for being a member i appreciate you is it illegal to own more than seven dildos in texas probably I never, I never had the problem where I needed to look up that law. Anyways, I want missile defense here if possible. Let's see. My preferred missile defense. Oh shoot, this is actually really good too. Interlocks with the bank missiles, really good missile damage. I like support missiles. No, I like the energy based uh, web. Uh, these are little lasers and they shoot down the missiles. They fire 24 shots. Enough to protect you from missiles for a little bit, but they weigh 197 and we're already pushing the weight of this AC to the max. And I would already like more uh, flexibility. But if I don't bring in the heavy ash generator, I'm going to have issues. So this is just something I got to work with.
Like, I think 8,000 is good for force cooling, but let's try the cheap one. I feel like that's a huge mistake, but I'm willing to give it a spin just to see if we can make something pop here. And this is the most fun part, by the way. <laughs> if you thought it's about the combat, you're stupid and wrong. This is what the game's all about. If you don't enjoy what I'm doing right here, you're going to hate AC6. <laughs> you're going to fucking hate it. It's six, more than six dildos and you're against the law? Wow. Not everything's bigger in Texas, I guess. Gotta have your principles. Uh, let's see. I feel like this is a horrible mistake, but... That was a horrible mistake. I hit the wrong button. I don't think I'm getting too much advantage from the uh, radiator swap. It's pretty minimal, but you know, to put together a good AC usually means you're scraping by really heavy on the uh, weight limit there. Flyweight chain gun. I wonder if that means I can just use it whenever without having to hold still as a biped. I don't know. It, a lot of these questions and struggles I'm having would be solved very easily by just, uh, I'm just going to buy this anyways. By just, uh, going with the tank treads. It's really hard to avoid using the tank treads because they're that good. At least if you want to have a lot of arms anyways. Oh shit, <laughs> that works. Hold on, I gotta try this. And expect that to actually pass. Let's see how poorly this uh, radiator holds up. Maybe a complete waste of time. Oh, we'll find out real quick with this enemy, all right. If I have to stand still to use the chain gun, we're ditching it, which I'm pretty sure I have to, but you know, maybe not. How much you wanna bet that Utah's digital porn caches? Oh, they'll just use the, uh, what a VPN. You can buy just fine. Oh shit, lightweight chain gun. Okay, uh, yeah, I didn't know that the uh, tiny chain gun in this was usable by bipeds. Well, that changes a whole lot about what I'm trying to do here. Because I just want some quick, you know, 
heavy fire something i can bust out to just do the damage which is hard to get if you're not doing a tank configuration how would michael myers kill carl from aqua teen hunger force I don't know. I think he'd just knock on his door and Carl would just answer and be like, what the hell are you looking at? And then he just gets stabbed. That's how I see it going down. Oh, dude, the arena is the best place to figure out whether or not your mech is shit. It really is. I mean, you could do, you know, builds based off guides, but I still find a lot of the fun in this being just make a wacky robot okay I would like to try to get away with something but I don't think I can the lightest arm part all right no no confusion about that We are reducing the weight further because I have insane demands. Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh wow. You serious? Oh no. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like, <laughs> there's no way I can equip two of those. And I was right. but we can get the ammo expansion or we get a missile intercept i mean Defensively speaking, the missile intercept is, is the smartest thing. But if you go on a long mission, it could be regrettable to uh, not have a little bit of extra ammo. For the arena, for my money, the missile intercept is probably going to be better since most enemies have missiles. However, for missions, sometimes they'll leave you in the field for a while and you get a little thirsty. Rockets are good. Reduce the weight by putting helium balloons in it. That's genius, your Arnold Shitter. Take all the oxygen canisters out, replace them with helium canisters. They make the robot more light. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my gut, go with the weapon pods. I doubt there's enough leftover weight for me to carry anything else. Yeah, and the unfortunate uh decoys that attract enemy missiles that's nice that might be all right maybe i could uh no i'm not getting away with the uh, different radiator
there's no way that's light. Let's look at the hedge real quick. Lightest head, and I saved a few pounds on another thing. Does that mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, we got something at least. There we go. There it is. All right. Now, a quick rundown. We have a howitzer. We have the epitome of laser rifle design. 20% extra ammo, a lightweight chain gun, and energy-based missile intercept system. There you go. Out of sight, ass. I always wondered where does the pilot sit in the AC? If I recall, they actually sit in the chest, and the head is just nothing but sensor arrays, and the actual pilot's like right in the the core, in the armored core. Yeah, NFC. I think uh, you're right there. All right, into the arena for testing. Makes sense too. You would want to sit in the most armored portion of the vehicle. now what hold on i'm confused why could i have used it before but now i cannot little me that is it because i'm too heavy now because i swapped something maybe the arms are too heavy i must have something to do with it i guess i forgot some of the mechanics here but for a minute there i was able to yeah fire the chain gun without having to Okay, I gotta go check that out. I mean, we, I could probably kill that character, but let's figure that out. Whoa. Okay. I'll drop a couple of things off the shoulder, see how it's going. Hey, Toxic, how good to see ya. I'm doing good at making a robot. Oh, yeah, I didn't equip intensify. Hold on. All I do when the government shows me in a pond and sends me to space, I guess I'll fucking die. That would be my guess. It's probably what's going to happen. Oh! There we go. Okay. So this is, this is what I want to do. Oh god, I'm not playing Redfall. I like Arcane Studios. I don't want to see them at their worst. They they had to make that game in like two years. That's not enough time for a game of that scale. Not with this Not with a team that big. With a concept like an open world game. Done in two years. Like Arcane can do stuff if you give them time to cook, but if you don't do that, then I mean you get what you pay for, right? Okay, this should work out. It's sad because our team did cook. I think we may be reaching a point in time to where art and animation is easy enough to achieve in these games that programming, like programming's falling behind. I mean, programming always was the longest portion, you know, it was always the toughest. I think it'll always be the hardest part of making a game. Can't see how it wouldn't be, but. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, 
just don't know between that star wars game and seeing how redfall is they're just okay like they're like no it's fine it's fucked up but just put it out anyways because we got like you know limits here and i don't understand why the companies think they'll make their money by putting it out early and then like fixing it later because they have to drop the price before the year's out anyways right so unless they intend to get unless they look at all their 60 dollars purchases as pre-orders and people who just buy stuff just to buy it then i don't see the strategy in selling you a game that is fucked up because before or after it's on sale after it's all fixed and you know bought people start purchasing it it'll already be down to 40 bucks so they're not making their 70 or their 60 on it and that raises the question why are they even like charging 70 bucks for a game like that if they know it's not good enough and they know it's not ready and they know it's been rushed i mean you know i understand the greed portion i want my money now 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 but like in in the long term like logistically it does not make a whole lot of sense Oh well. Some of my favorite games have had short dev cycles. Uh, was it Twisted Metal Head On? I think that had a development period of like uh, nine months. Of course, they had a lot of like Twisted Metal Black and other assets and experience to work off of, but it was one of the first portable multiplayer games it was definitely the premier multiplayer game for the psp until monster hunter came out nothing else was worth a damn uh so good in fact that when people stopped playing it they still used it because the chat service was good enough to use for cyber sex it's a very popular program for people to get on and talk erotically to each other on which is great sony didn't like that though so they said they had to you know shut that shit down damn i got my ass kicked there yeah, I just, I don't, I'm not quite 100% in love with this. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna boost our boost. And I guess uh, ditch the missile defense. Greed doesn't make any sense, Dragon Man. Greed can make sense. Well, oh, I got new mail. Is it because I died so much? I don't think you cut out for this. Be happy with what you achieved and move on. I'm gonna kick your ass, Gimlet. I think you've reached your limits. Bottom, don't bottom feed for you. I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. How dare you send me mean emails? Is there a bully? Can I can I report him for bullying in the arena? I'll show you, you cheesy piece of shit. yeah yeah big booster now i'm gonna kick his ass because now i'll be highly mobile all right friend yeah legs determine your weight limit and there's four different types of legs yeah bipedal quadrupedal tank and hover oh and uh no wait reverse joint so you got five different types read from suits never makes sense no matter how you look at i don't know the cigarette industry does really good they seem to understand <laughs> offering the customer what they want Drug dealers have good PR. Where's all 
my tongue tongue now, you dumb son of a bitch. There we go. Now they got a little pep. Forbidden eighth type with eight legs. You you joke urinal shitter, but yes, there is a forbidden six type with eight legs, but it's only in chrome hounds. And it's this giant ATAT -AT looking fucking monstrosity with like 12 artillery cannons on it. That is pretty much only controllable if people read to you launch coordinates like A4, B9. Then you launch your artillery to just try to pepper people with giant explosions. Which is neat. Chrome Hounds, uh, unplayable now because it had dedicated servers and then the server code's just not there. I really wish somebody at FromSoft would just accidentally drop the server code for Chrome Hounds, but that's probably just been deleted by now, which is sad. I meant to change the camera angle, whatever. I like this build, it's fine. It's got a strong energy weapon that doesn't cost much money, a good backup with a chain gun. And the howitzer is a nice touch in case I want to double up on my damage or if things get really desperate on the ammo, you know, portion of things. Oh yeah, hold on, I gotta see if I get an email from this guy. Arr, mocked me. Now what, Gimlet? Huh, you little fuck? There's no way someone like you could defeat me. Must be some kind of mistake. I demand a rematch. Okay, I'm gonna kick his ass again. Yes, our honor friend, the chain gun does have an ammo limit. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna beat him again though. How dare he insult me? Even though he was right and it was a fluke. Then again, he's got a cheesy mech with the machine gun arms. I'm just gonna wail on him with the Karasawa. It's what he deserves. Fool. I don't know why. It's a, it's really weird. I guess maybe I've played too many uh, games where you don't use like the face buttons to turn. But I mean, if it's not the face buttons, it has to be the. Uh... Oh, okay, I got him there. <laughs> now it's her coming in clutch. But uh, yeah, it just feels weird not being able to use analog sticks. I actually want to watch that one again. I fumbled around, but it was pretty fun. 
There are melee weapons in this game, aren't there, friend? I'm using a howitzer instead of the sword, though. That's where I lost control <laughs> and he hit me with some heavy stuff. Those uh, guns he has, the arm guns, they do a lot of damage. Arm guns aren't a bad choice. I mean, it restricts your freedom a little bit, but the arm guns way less and they tend to do real good damage. However, you lose a lot of versatility and uh, all in all, you'll probably do more damage with the howitzer anyways. How much this close range can hurt? It can hurt as much as it can, Arnold, for it can do high damage. And also you can attack quickly. You can uh, take a smaller mech and just kind of bumblebee your way up to somebody who's going bump, 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 and just drive them. Some of the mechs turn so slowly, they won't even have a chance to turn around and hit you if you start comboing them. Their only move would be to fly upwards and well, if you're good with the bazooka or any kind of the heavy hitting uh, direct line of fire weapons, you can just melt them at that point. However, that's all theoretical. My skill level really doesn't afford me that kind of ability. That's just how it is. Uh, I'm going to try a different weapon. Bear with me. No, no, no. I'm going to kill some more guys in the arena and get used to the controls. I want to try to master this robot a little bit, and the arena is the best place to do it. Dragon Man, preferably, you just don't want to get hit. And good controls will uh, help you avoid that. In fact, if I was going to get a heavier thing, it, it might either be the head for a better aiming system. Which I, I might actually go and change just because I think that would be a good idea or uh, Changing the arms up so I get less recoil and better Hopefully better reaction speed because these lightweight arms They don't always do the trick in my opinion and that chain gun while useful There's better ones. What's with this guy? What's he doing? I'm not gonna complain die You want to die you can just die then I'm trying not to use the howitzer because I want to like practice my aim a little bit, but you know, what's a win, right? Yeah, Arnifrin, I would say it is mech souls. You really don't want to make a mech whose primary strategy is it can be hit. You will want to make a tank tread mech, don't get me wrong, and heavy armor is good, but that's usually at least in my opinion, it's either for long missions where you're getting peppered by enemy fire or uh, if you're going to use it in the arena, it's got to be a character that you intend to just, you know, just drive right into the enemy and annihilate them. Because you don't want like a sniper who can't move around quickly because you'll get your butt kicked real hard that way. Besides, this core is good. It does have an anti-missile system on it. So it does kind of cover my need to have a uh, missile deterrent. It fills in the roll. It doesn't block all the missiles, but blocks enough of them. Paint tread pure melee. That can work, darn it, friend. It can work. Yeah, we don't get uh we don't get flanked so hard with this one. Garg, and that's good. I think there's a few other tweaks I want to make though, if possible. Oh, I love making the max. Making the max is like half the game. 
you, the thing is and probably the biggest difference in this game compared to dark souls is since we don't have like stats to grind up on or level ups we just buy the cool thing imagine playing elden ring and you didn't have to level up your character or any it was just armor and swords and you bought most of them yeah this is always right it's like 60 percent of the game is mech building so if you're playing elden ring and it was like this you were just go buy the stuff and put it in your garage you'd play all sorts of characters you'd play mages you'd play melee you'd play archers you'd play all that because you know you would just get the money just buy the stuff and that's it and there's no level up involved so you end up customizing your characters a whole lot more i still think you would get the same gameplay out of elden ring at least as far as character builds if it had the same you know merchant mm, garage system not that it needs it but you know a lot of people are going to play a fromsoft game and go oh it's a fromsoft game what's so different about it well that's one of the big differences Now forget if I want different arms or different. <laughs> I wish we could have our make like this. Some of the coolest configurations just don't work. But I like this. It looks it looks ridiculous. Anyways, probably want a better targeting system. Or we could just put two giant cannons on our arm. Honestly, in the arena, that would probably do better. You just fly up on them and just, you know, deep fry them. It is a fun option. Let's go for the better head though. Yeah, no raging raven. You have to have the full, complete set there. I don't know. Am I gonna get better functionality out of a better head or better arms? I like that better aim, but oh, it has no radar. Yeah, it's kind of bad. Cooling's way better on the other head too. I may as well go with it just for that. Not my favorite head aesthetically, but if it's going to do the trick, then I'll take it. There's one more thing I want to try to. I'm not allowed to yet. Well, it was good that they did that. In the other games, you would just do these. And it would be so easy to get all the money and parts you need before you even do mission one just by slumming it out in the arena. You want a crustacean mech with 10 legs? That'd be awesome. Uh, Chrome Hounds would have been the game to do it. it says something here. Oh, oh, that's that's nasty right there. This the ability to do this is is just disgusting. Okay, that offers up some changes that we can enjoy. Let's see the laser. Look at him go! Pop, 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 pop.
Pulse Cannon's a little slow, but the damage is really good. Okay, so we have uh, two options for our back weapon. And I like them. Uh, we can take the Pulse Cannon in in case we want to save on money or we could take in the chain gun in case we just want you know something energy efficient essentially hey thank you sleepy dog zone you just tried almond milk toxic hell did you like it ever drink chocolate milk that's gone bad not that i can recall oh it says it right on the screen aren't it friend <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll show you. So as far as the HUD goes, and you can turn on a lot more HUD elements, by the way. Top left is my health. Bottom, uh, right below that is the enemy's health. They're the enemy AC. I guess I can see why they'd be confusing though, but yeah. See me kicking the shit out of him? He doesn't like it. That's why his number goes down. And then when he's dead, number goes down to zero. And it's a sad day for him. Because he kind of got my groove going again. That's a fair mistake, Garner friend. Well, that, now you know. Now you can keep track with what's going on on the screen. This game's a learner. This one will test your patience. This time with a dynamic camera. Look at him eat those shots. Although through emulation, at least in this arena battle, it kind of holds up a bit. Like, I really can't poke at the visuals minus, like, maybe some cheap particle effects, but... Well, I mean, it's a PS2. I think it had, like, 16 megabytes of video RAM. Now our... <laughs> my graphics card has 24 gigabytes of video RAM. Or to put it in more simple terms, I think my computer may actually be a thousand times more powerful than a PS2. <laughs> it tastes like bad chocolate milk. Oh, that sucks, Toxic Hell. I'll have to try it myself. My expectations for almond milk isn't high. I know it's going to have like a nutty flavor. Okay, I got to look at one more thing. I'm happy with this. And I could be happier, but hey, why complain? Wait, if I now if I can fire this chain gun with the human plus, then that's just completely disgusting. And I'm going to test that out right now. And if that's the case, well, that's going to make this a lot easier. Main system. Engaging test mode. Oh, that's fucking sick. I never did human plus. 
I always felt it was cheating, but uh, yeah, I looked around and folks were like, no, it's not cheating. That's just you like actually progressing in the game. This is an expansion pack after all. I forget if it's this game. Do I blow this up or not? I don't know. We'll find out. Look at that generator though. Like we can fly indefinitely. That is good. I mean, outside of that, we can also like use laser rifle while flying and that's probably the more important piece. Cause you don't want to hit like a water level and be unable to fly. That being said, the, the radiator problem is definitely uh, a bad thing. However, we do get plenty of uh, ammo and generally speaking, the mech isn't terribly slow. So even if we got an emergency situation, we wouldn't be completely fucked. OP intensify was an in-game fun mode redoing human plus. Yeah, and I didn't uh, completely do human plus. I missed the, I missed a couple of the really good ones. So it's not full on human plus. Not that that doesn't give me an advantage, mind you. But uh, I think Silent Line in particular, this is one that you're supposed to play the way you want to play it. Like if you went through AC3, you suffered enough. So why not keep your stuff with you? I like it. In fact, I kind of wish I did Dark Souls that way. How dope would it have been to boot up your uh, Elden Ring save and see your entire arsenal from Dark Souls 3 just right there? <laughs> yeah, sure, it'd make the easy, you know, the starting portion of the game a little easier. But you know, the familiarity with your uh, equipment set and you know, all that stuff would just be fun. Think all ACs play how you want to. Yeah, I think that's uh, a real key feature in the core game design for Armored Core. It's not so much a linear like, no, you must do it this way and it must be this way and yada yada yada. It's like, what parts do you have? Are they good parts? Do you know how to use them? Do you understand what you're doing? Yes or no? <laughs> and then uh, there's some skill too. I hope when armored core six comes out we see some of the better players come in with just like a rifle and a basic ass booster and like an arm blade and they just come in and wreck your shit that would be great it would be slightly disappointing if the top echelon of armored core players for armored core six was nothing but just tank treads and you know rocket cannons Okay, I'd say we're about ready for the story. I'm gonna grab myself a drink. This will take me just a second. I'll be right back. got him back it was ages toxic hell armored core 6 comes out in august at least that's what they say i would uh <coughs> excuse me i take august with a grain of salt though a lot of games that get launched around august tend to get delayed but let's hope it hits August. That'd be great.
Yeah, Gimli got blown the fuck out. All right, mission time. Who do we want to work for? Mirage or Kurosagi? Yeah, a submarine. I'll escort a submarine along the water. That's a pain. I'm going to disperse gathering. Maybe. Hold on. I think Kisaragi has the better part, though. Ooh, that's tough. What do you think, chat? Transport or disperse gathering? Do we want to defend the military's assets or attack the townsfolk? What do we do? Oh, well, never mind. Raging Raven. Yeah, let's disperse the gathering. <laughs> We'd like you to investigate reports of a suspicious gathering in Sector 517. Yeah, I'll break up the union. The sector has been under Mirage's control ever since Crest withdrew from the area. Unfortunately, given more pressing issues, we've neglected our duties there. This oversight ends now. As the administrator for the area, we have a responsibility for its security and integrity. Suspect activity, such as the gathering taking place there now, is best quelled early on. We're sure you'll resolve the problem to our satisfaction. Yep, kill them all. Did you have permission to unionize? Yeah, you're gonna shoot the civilians gotta go. You're not allowed. Enemy strength is unknown. Proceed with caution. No. A raven, attack! You're gonna regret that. Combat system. How? Quick for him. myself there I just wanted to open the door okay let's stop that that's not gonna work Find the protest. Wasting ammo. That lighting effect looks okay. Like for an early PS2, okay, it's a little glitchy up there, but like, you know, a little smoke animation on light, that's tasteful. Surely I open this door.
I did that like two times and I got hurt, so I'm gonna go this way instead. Okay, I must have to open that door. It seems right, but maybe they want me to go around. Yeah, see, white indicates that the door is openable. Saying why you need treads when you get to hover and float everywhere. Oh, I, I the button. I got push a button right here. Go. Treads can carry way heavier armor and way more weapons and bonus abilities. So, someone tank treads is almost always going to have way more offensive capability. Take that, unionizers. How about you unionize with some plasma? You can just fly and why not get that load up? Because you have a generator that runs out of power. Flying's not free. I could have way more firepower than this. I could also have better arms. I could have a better computer. I could have a lot more things that would just make it easier for me to hit enemies. As well as uh, just, you know, generally take a lot more damage. I think having double the firepower is a great thing. And there's lots of cases where it would be very advantageous to have that. My flight seems free because I don't have a good radiator. If I deplete this fuel meter here on the left and it actually does go low, which I can do with the uh, laser rifle since all the energy weapons also drain from that meter, I can find myself not only unable to move but unable to shoot anything that uh, works off of electricity. So you really don't, unless you're super confident in your ability to balance that meter, you really don't want to go too far. I don't know why I got so lost on this one. Is there a map? Yeah. There's a map. Oh, yeah. And which map you have really depends on which head you have. If you have a better head, you uh, have a better map. I don't think I got the good head. Not the one for the map anyways. But I see something over there, so that's enough for me. So basically my boost is my uh, secondary ammo or at least uh, to a degree my ammo. I don't have unlimited ammo, but each shot will take off that meter and that meter is needed to boost. So I'm not too keen on just flying around and just shooting nonstop. That'll cause me a lot of issues if I don't keep an eye on it. Combat system disengaged. That's also true, Raven is correct. I have a few special parts that severely reduce my energy consumption, which in combination with a big ass generator means that I can fly around with a good booster and shoot tons of particle plasma stuff without having to worry about too much drain. However, a radiator's still a radiator. <laughs> without the radiator, you're in trouble. But we're still making a net gain. We disrupted them protesters nice and good. I got mail. Great work, Raven. The group you intercepted was trying to incite anti-mirage sentiment across the layered residence in hopes of destabilizing our position there. 
This was obviously a weak attempt put forth by Crest in an effort to regain control of the sector. Ever since the controller's demise, Crest has taken an active interest in filling the void it left behind. We've admittedly been far too lax in maintaining our presence in the Laird. But only because our efforts are currently concentrated on matters relating to service redevelopment. We lack the assets to manage both simultaneously. Those who still insist on dwelling exclusively within the confines of the layer need to realize that the future lies elsewhere. The time to expand. The time has come to expand our horizons. Man, I cannot read today. Thank you again for your help, and we sincerely hope that you will continue to support Mirage's efforts in the future. Okay, thank you, Mirage. Oh, yeah, everybody was under control by the AI, and they lived underground. But then you kill the AI, and everybody's like, oh, my God, sunshine. And so now we live in a world where you can go to the outside, and it's not like, you know, no man's land. Destroy elite unit could be fun. Protect power condenser sounds boring. Yeah, let's destroy the elite unit. Objective during this mission is to wrest control of the dim forest region from Kisaragi. We would appreciate your assistance. Over the course of the past few years, Kisaragi's influence and power have dwindled significantly. Their grip on the dim forest region is tenuous at best. In fact, the only reason they still control the region is due to the presence of their elite jungle warfare unit. This team is particularly well suited to the conditions that exist there. Removing them from the picture is a surefire way of hampering Kasaragi's already difficult struggle to remain competitive. As one big Pangea. We can have consorts. We can pull in fighter jets. We can pull in heli choppers. Little beacon, the little fun little robot here. He's just legs in a missile launcher and a little tiny, tiny machine gun. We got a drunkard, which is just uh, another hover bot with two big old cannons. And foreman, a prop. Well, no, that's not a proper AC. But look at him. He's got missiles and a gun. It's pretty good. taking the consorts for fun oh no Arna friend they're definitely dead I killed a bunch of unionizers they're dead as dead can be Sniff them out, helicopters. Nice work, Raven. That was easy. Mission, Mission complete. Combat system disengaged. No honor friend, they pilot the mechs in the arena as well. But you'll notice in the arena, my robot doesn't explode and completely like, you know, disintegrate when I 
get defeated. That means my robot got disabled. ACs are really durable. Little tiny ones, though, people in those for sure die. Oh, also, this is fiction. Really important thing to remember. Range plasma rifle is pretty rough, like 2,520 damage. It just doesn't have the ammo capacity of the uh, Karasawa. Not to mention the Karasawa is kind of like an ultimate weapon. You got to go through a lot of trouble to get it. So, yeah, I'd like to use it. Chain gun are probably not going to use much of, but it's good to have that in case of an emergency. This is a this is a mech I enjoy. This is a good set. There's not a whole lot more I can do. some cool auxiliary stuff an auxiliary booster for quick turns so you can use this to kind of forcefully rotate your ac it's not a bad thing to have if you want to be really highly mobile like you can like jump you can fly over somebody you go Ch -ch -ch, and then bam 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 there's strategies for that midair hovering capabilities pretty nice in case you just want to be in midair you could like fly up really high hit the hover and then aim down and snipe i wouldn't recommend it though uh Interlocking bank missiles. Interlocked missiles mean that if I fire missiles from a missile launcher, these also fire missiles that join in on it. So what you can do is equip these guys and a few other things and shoot like, you know, 40, well, not 40 or 50, but like, you know, eight to 10 missiles at once, possibly more. Vertical launch version of it. So you lock on, you fire missiles forward, and then the other missile set goes up and over. Really good. Interlock missiles work with the orbit drone back weapons. That's disgusting, Raging Raven. I'm gonna have to remember that. <laughs> oh, you bring in one and mess around with that. Oh no, what's the weight? Oh, the weight's even less. Yeah, we could do that. Ah, the, the chain gun there is old reliable. They call it all painless in the Predator movie, but no, with an attack power of 328 and an ammo stack of 300 and a range of 500. It is a pretty well balanced weapon. Like it's good at range, it's good up close, does good damage, reliable. Quality stuff. Usually a treasure decked out. This is my little uh arena mech. It's wacky, it has hover treads. But I guess we can mess with this guy. If you want to see treads anyways. You do not get to have a booster with the treads, but it comes with its own.
Let's just make the fanest son of a bitch we can. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be really mean. Yeah, okay. Let's take this guy into the arena. Hey, Venom, good to see ya. Here comes Omega Fud. Woodsman and Raven, yeah, AC has great music. I love it. Should have gone for the uh, the damn chain gun though. See, this is what happens when you run out of energy. Not bad, but for the arena, not so much. So let's try something a little bit less fair. Oh yeah, I didn't have the optional part installed. Oops. Yeah. I, I severely handicapped myself in that fight.
No, I need the spinny thing. There we go. Just drop block on, why not? There we go. Everything, all the shit. I still say mobility is better than the big tanky ones, but the big tanky ones will get you through those very long missions to where you kind of might want to have a little bit of flexibility on your armor points and maybe you do want to have a second gun or maybe you want to bring along a big gun. Do I think they'll port the old AC games? I don't think so, Deathlock. I, it just doesn't seem like something that would get ported over. Remake would be nice, but I mean, we'll see how the next this armored core does. Maybe, maybe that'll be enough. Get closer to me. Actually, this might be a bad mech to fight <laughs> with this big guy. <laughs> Competition to this dude. Oh, did you disable something? No, I'm just crazy. Yeah, no, I got I got a weapon disabled there. Yeah, no, this is bad. <laughs> so this is why you don't always want the heavy one. You gotta, in a lot of cases, build your advantage. Quartet cannon's fun, but really, not all that necessary. I think I could have just gone in with grenades and chain guns. Would have been a bit of a easier fight. Anyways, I like to go back to my other mech that's more built to my preference. So let's take my preferred mech in and see how the fight goes then. He's got a sniper. He's got good weapons. He's got a good radar, sniper, quick turn, medium missile, and a pretty good laser blade. And with that maneuverability, if he's able to get around to you and start slashing with the blade, all that armor goes to waste. So yeah, if you take the big heavy one and you go up against somebody who's quick and has a powerful blade, they will waste you. I mean, maybe not necessarily if you have good positioning and the level or you know how to defend yourself a little bit better, like get your back to the wall, maybe. Maybe it would be to your advantage, but there comes a simple issue when it, uh, gets down to movement speed like you see his little uh shoulder items there he can do that 45 degree turn instantaneously which means he can get a uh, loop around on you real quick you see him doing that right there he's uh he gets behind you and then snaps you good then he comes in and tries to get you the laser that's kind of hard to get around with the tank the tanks don't have a uh, great turn speed on them and the booster while there doesn't really afford you a lot of maneuverability either Hey, Flirth. However, as you can see, the slash and dash is really hard there. And since I have the howitzer, if he comes in within a 20 meter radius, I mean, I'm probably going to get him in the AOE. 
the howitzer is great it's deceptive you would think like looking at it, it's like that thing can't be that great it's ridiculously great hey flirth main reason being is that you can fire the howitzer while firing your main weapon so you can uh basically call cause them to flinch and do damage at the same time both uh physical damage and heat damage because it's a uh, solid explosive so yeah that little guy 50 rounds 1250 damage it's really big on damage like no energy drain weighs barely anything and it uh it fucks it's great i i pretty much carry it with every mech i like the laser blades and all that but again unless it's a very long mission or it's something to where i need to be like going 2000 2000 2000 2000 on something the howitzer usually wins out there's a left hand karasawa and nexus last raven that's fucking disgusting i love to run that with a handgun or something Let's waste a few more punks, huh? Calamity Pitfall. Anyways, I'm doing good, Flirth. I hope you're doing good, too. Get fucking melted. I got this mech down. I love him. I'd say being able to use the shoulder cannons on a bipedal mech is a little OP. And that is something that we're going to get through uh, Human Plus, which we earned through Armored Core 3. That being said, I don't think you're meant to not use it. It's just, you know. This is technically a standalone expansion. I don't know. It really just depends on your opinion. It's uh, definitely an opinion. Like, which is fair and which isn't. I, well, it's not an online multiplayer game, so I figure whatever you can equip is fair. And I'd still argue that howitzer is way cheesier than the shoulder-fired machine gun. I could just equip a machine gun. Oh, you got a good 4K TV with audio shit. There is a way around that flirt that I do this myself. Uh, you need a HDMI audio extractor. And it's a device that you plug the HDMI through and it pulls the audio out and splits the signal. So you still get your video, but you got a separate HDMI signal that pipes out the audio. They're relatively good power audio processor i have to do that with my 4k screen because again yeah bad audio like real bad audio on it at least to the uh you know 3.5 millimeter but you can fix it with the little box you shouldn't have to but there you go we're buying sound cards for our televisions now Oh no, Arnifrin, you misunderstand. With that human plus, I'd have to stand still to use the shoulder mounted weapon.
Now that is to say, firing this chain gun like I'm doing would usually be reserved for the uh, heavier tread-based mechs. But Human Plus allows me to use it. Uh, generally speaking, not something you'd see done here. Oh yeah, I saw that Armored Core 6 trailer, Jim and I. It was good. No, there are no races. It's just humans aren't afraid. Human Plus is like uh, AI. It's like you're a cyborg. It's an augment. It's a power up. It's a boost you can earn an Armored Core 3 and one that you can expand by dying three times or by dying and losing all of your money so if you go completely bankrupt you can opt to be turned into a robot you ought to be turned into a robot and you go forward in the game there's special challenges that you complete that are very very fucking hard in some cases and if you can complete those challenges then you get more of this uh more abilities essentially so it's basically a reward for completing certain challenges essentially it's also like a secret because you know why would why would you allow yourself to run out of money right why you just stop playing usually it's also a way to make the game easier that's for sure but i mean you can make it harder on yourself in other ways like you really want to make it harder on yourself uh take a standard bipedal robot with like a standard rifle <laughs> and go through the arena with that you can do it i don't know if it'd be fun it really depends on your skill level for me i'd probably get my ass beat happens in ac12 yeah I, I like that i hope they continue that with ac6 that would be nice i'd like to see a lot of traditional and cool stuff like that oh he blew he blew up my fucking uh artillery that's Son of a bitch. Yeah, they, you can knock off each other's weapons in this game. It's pretty fun. That becomes a uh, bigger factor in other games. Yeah, you can lose a weapon. Well, Flirth, uh, the way I see video games is that if you can't afford one, then uh, getting one through other means isn't necessarily a bad thing. What are those other means? I don't know. You can interpret whatever you want from that. I'm not saying anything specific. And there it went. He shot the, uh, he shot the howitzer right out of my hand. Fantasy 16, when's that coming out? Oh, like tomorrow. Huh. I might stream Final Fantasy 16. We'll see what their uh, policy is on that. Deadlock.
like I wanted to stream uh stranger of paradise but they're really insane about it and it was not nice so it's like well if you're gonna be if you're gonna be mean about the copyright and be like you could play 75 percent of the game but no more than that then I'm out you know I got mad at the Activision deal. Oh well. If I was Activision, I would just stop making Call of Duty games for Sony. Just I'm like, no, nah, fine. You just don't get them anymore. They'd sue them. He'd be like, you have to make games for us. You have no choice. It would be unfair. Poor Sony. Yeah, the music is really fucking good. Oh, this guy's spicy. See, I can not like the chain guns and the machine guns. They're really good. Oh, it's a tie. Lose off. Oh, fuck off. Oh, that was a tie. I want to see the replay. The city is pretty good. I didn't like the free to play one, though. I tried it and I'm like, this is okay. Reminded me of Dreamcast game. Not in a bad way, just in like, uh, some I don't want to put a lot of my time into kind of way. I like that mech design. That's a good one right there. That's solid. There's a secondary left hand rifle. That is disgusting. Oh, I want it. That's a good. Oh. There's like 300 more weapons in this version of the game, and yeah, you, there are some better left-handed stuff. Like a, a rifle like that on the left hand is really strong. Like he's got great mid-range, and since he's using hover legs, he's in his zone of mid-range. That being said, that was a fucking tie. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, Sony complains about sales and it's like we need Call of Duty, but then they refuse. Then they put out like, "We're gonna remake Horizon Zero Dawn." <laughs> like what? That doesn't make any sense. It's like we're afraid of competition. They're gonna kick our ass, so we're gonna remaster a PS4 game. Oh, for spoken. Oof! What a stinker that was. Yeah, rodeo is a good build. Then again, if I had an offhand uh, rifle, I'd probably be using that over the howitzer. I forgot about a lot of the weapon parts you get in this game. Gonna make another Horizon Zero Dawn, this time with the real Nakato Avocado. You know, he's losing weight. You're not going to be able to rip on him that much anymore. You have to find something else.
This is what it's like going to the grocery store in America. No, that's just PE. This is like getting parking in high school. <laughs> Any chance of Kenji? Yeah, it's P-Train. I'll, like, I'll get into Kenji again. I like to do that again sometime soon. We got a big, a lot of big releases coming up that I'm interested in playing too, of course, so. I have to get it. Look at, look at all those shots I'm missing. Meanwhile, his shots are like pinpoint on. That's a really solid mech design right there with the overboost and everything. I like it. I mean, of course it lost, but I think if a human were controlling it, it wouldn't have fallen for some of the uh, issues it ran into there. Redfall? No, I'm not playing Redfall. Like, I, I usually don't just listen to what everybody tells me, but I saw a couple of video clips of Redfall, and it's like, I already wanted to say, hey, you know, I'll play that, that Jedi Survivor game once they patch it up. I'm sure there's a fun game underneath all that crap they put in, but I mean, you know, if something's that bad, I'll just wait. I got it on Game Pass. I don't even want to boot it up. Why waste my time? Yeah, I am ready for Tears of the Kingdom. You might say, I already know how good it is. You know, in theory, I could possibly already have some kind of uh, hands-on, uh, you know, knowledge about why it might be a good game, possibly. I mean, I'm not saying that I do, but, but you know, in theory, I might, I might know a little bit about it. I might, I may, I could. I could just, I could just oh shit, I got fucking melted. <laughs> oh fuck. Got a melting back. Oops. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I uh, probably want a missile intercept system for that guy. Well, I know when I'm outmatched. That's uh, again, the fun part about this game. You could beat him without uh, too much trouble though. Here, let me show you. In fact, well, I'll show you how you can get away with not having to customize your mech. The game gives you one other advantage and it's a good one. He has double missile arms. I should have expected that. He's like all missiles. So how do you defeat somebody who's all missiles, you might ask? Well, you take them to the Applebee's parking lot. All green air, Flurth. At least that's what I see. advantage anymore and he's in trouble what's he gonna do i got all these pillars oh this will sure were scary out in the open huh not so scary now are they you bitch Changing the train because I'm a noob is just cheating. Deathlock doesn't know how games work.
If it were cheating, then how come I can select it? Also, we could have beat him by just taking some missile interceptors in, but that would have required me going to the garage. I'd have saved myself some time by putting him in a box. Really, it's his fault for accepting my duel at the garage. He said, okay, I'll go to the garage. And that's why he died. Unsportsmanlike conduct, you say? I'll show you unsportsmanlike conduct in the Applebee's parking lot. Sleepy Dogs on Mr. Miyamoto said he hopes that people see the Super Mario Brothers movie as something more than a movie. And that's the most pretentious fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> as far as entertainment goes. I would hope for the world to consider the Super Mario Man movie as more than a movie, but uh, a way of life, perhaps a new religion. Oh, I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, 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 how, where's it? Where's the cheats now, huh? Where's the cheats now? Who's cheating now, huh? Who's cheating who? That's what I gotta ask. I say he's the cheater now. Except I'm totally gonna beat the shit out of him. Hold on. Fuck your little flamethrower. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, I'm in trouble. Nope, I'm down. You son of a bitch. Yoda, you, you just take some crackers and scrape it off. And leave them on the counter for someone else to find. for me I'm here to help Yoda hey won't neighbor two bucks thank you for the tip he says Applebee's I thought it was a waffle house it could be both yeah Garg I'd like to play strangers of stranger of paradise but Atlas is really mean about it they're like no Whoever developed it, that was ever good. This is a fun fight though, look at this. Just two little cheesy fucks. I got my cheesy robot, he's got his cheesy robot. <laughs> we both got our dumb gimmicks and we're going with it. As it was meant to be. Look at him, I love his little design. See, I'm just gonna get close to you, I'm gonna light you on fire. <laughs> No, it was Koei, was it Koei Timko that did Stranger of Paradise or was it Atlas that did Stranger of Paradise? I think it was Koei Timko. But it definitely wasn't Square that did Stranger of Paradise. They published it, but they didn't develop it. And they weren't the ones filing the insane copyright requests, I don't think. I don't think, I might be wrong. Ooh, hey, can I buy crazy parts? Let's go to the shop. Oh shit, yeah, we can buy the crazy rifle. Okay, that's good. A pepper box handgun? Yeah, give it.
What else we got here? Ooh, a new rifle. Like more ammo and more heat damage. Heat damage is good. Heat damage will cause them to overheat and it sucks for them. Added ammo storage is good. Just like better variations on previous weapons. That's nice to see. I like better variants in different iterations. Lightweight machine gun. That could be a good get. Little handguns are good if you want to zip around and cause status ailments to people. It's not bad. Shotguns can do an impressive amount of damage. And if you can like overheat them even better. Little pulse rifles are really nice too. Like this, this looks weak, but uh, high ammo, cheap ammo costs and reasonably good damage. It's not bad. A parrying blade, which God help me. I'll not use the parrying blade. Not even the slightest idea. Small rockets with 80 rounds. Hey, and enhanced damage. But yeah, the weight 657. Eh, hard to pass. And we will unlock more parts as we continue to play the game. But it's nice that there's some stuff here already. How about legs? We're getting new legs. This looks new, maybe. I'll be going for a lightweight generator anytime soon, but hey, why not? I got the cash on me. Let's take a look at this gun. Okay, a little on heavy side. 150 rounds, that's good. 250 damage. I mean, 150 rounds of 250 damage or 1,250. I think the Howards are still wins. Problem is, this is way more accurate. Or I could take a hundred rounds at two sixteen. How about heat? What's the heat? Oh, the ammo heat's way up on it. How about fire rate? What's the fire rate? I 
I, I think I still prefer the, uh, howitzer. It's great. Is it reload time? I think it's reload time. Yeah. All right. So this is only slightly faster than the rifle. Wouldn't want to ignore the ammo heat though. Making the enemy overheat's a good thing and having this constantly apply, uh, apply heat pressure to them is not a bad thing. However, I'd prefer to use the rifle and I want to use the rifle, so hold on. I have to do something. Hold on, my, my, my brain's moving. Oh, this is nasty. Oh, it's... <laughs> oh, no. Look at this. Now, if I had a better missile launcher, that'd be great. But look, we get the pulse cannon, though. Which means we have a lot of extra versatility. This is kind of a... I mean, we can make them stronger for the arena, right? Like, uh... Ditch the pulse cannon, for example. Take on any of these other missile launchers. You can double up on them even. But that's not the point. The point is versatility. And it's only 10 total support missiles, but that'll make that little missile launcher sing really good. The extra missiles are really nice very welcome and we got the rifle and in addition to that we get a nice chunky plasma cannon here with a really good dps and overall damage output whopping into 1180 damage per shot with 80 rounds with 800 range go with everything else that's good Oh, you can do even crazier missile attacks than that, Arnifer. And that was like a, that was like a seven out of ten missile attack. Definitely a good one. But not then to all be all. Let's try to fight Rodeo in his natural habitat. Let's test this out. Not bad. Uh, 
I could have done better. I don't think the missiles are going to help me out in the arena here, but let's go ahead and try out the add-on and see how it works out. Look, what can I say? The chain gun's great. It is hard to look up and down and aim properly. <laughs> and yeah, they will they will dodge your locks. It is really hard to move and aim up and down at the same time. That's why I tend to not go for the uh, missiles if I can avoid it. Some of them have really good log on range, other ones not so much. This is okay, but I still think we stood a better chance with some of the other armaments, though I wouldn't mind taking this in for uh, PvE. Against this guy, though, with the machine gun and the rifle, like he can just walk up to you and melt you like butter. So having to wait there to lock on to that guy, especially considering how quick he can uh, jet around is kind of not a great idea. I like it though. I like we're able to get that much uh, ammo on this guy. He's very versatile, but uh, sadly the chain gun I feel is so versatile that you'd be silly not to use it. Now, it should go to say this is probably a configuration I'd be using if I didn't have a uh, human plus on. Probably ditch this, right? Like without human plus, we could get a lot out of these missiles here. I can just back out of the menu and fumble around. That's also something I'm allowed to do. Well, let's see. Is this the best mech? No, I'm just fooling around. Well, you know, get the big interlocking support missiles, sure. But uh, the other thing you can do is get medium missiles. And they do a lot more damage. So, you know, tag up some medium missiles on there. But that's really not what I want to do. <laughs> I don't want to fire a million missiles. First of all, they're expensive. And second of all, the chain gun still does better. So why wouldn't you use it, right? Still interesting. pushing the limit could have taken the good radar but the radar is really helpful for missiles and stuff like that too hard to eh, auxiliary booster for quake turns isn't bad you have a hard time like looping around me when i go poop and you know spin around i don't hate that Yeah, that being said, with this particular configuration, we could slap on the good radiator. And I find that hard to resist. Well, actually, hold on.
Hell yeah, arm upgrade. Okay, now we're talking. Still might prefer the radiator, but look at him now. I just like how he looks now. Rodeo is good for practice. Because if you can't, like, just nuke him immediately, he's going to dance around you and make your life miserable. And if that happens, well, you're dead anyway, so you should be prepared for that. And, uh, well, we're going to try to exhibit some control over old rodeo here oops thank you for waiting rodeo oh you fucking melted I think I'd ever get into Guilty Gear. I don't know, Flirt. I like Guilty Gear, but the problem with fighting games is that they're so gimmicky and it seems like nobody's made anything better than Street Fighter 4 and Mortal Kombat 9 or 10 or whatever. Tekken 7 looks interesting. I, I think I might get more into Tekken 7, but then I hear everybody's into Tekken 7. It's like, it's so fucking miserable. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> fighting games are a hard saw. I'd like to get into a fighting game. And maybe Street Fighter 6 will be the one. But, uh... Wouldn't gamble on it. So anyways, that's the power of, uh, bullets right there. You can see that my bullets are red, so they hurt more. I think the chain gun also does more heat damage. So if you do more heat damage, it's gonna make it harder for him to move around. In theory, anyways. I'm not sure what his heat gauge is right there, but, uh... Yeah. If they come at you with two machine guns, come at them with a meter machine gun. Those are all good fighting games, Spirit Taker. You're not wrong. worth a shot like i could drop down one whole uh generator but i'm losing 10 um, well not 10,000, but you know 8,000 max charge which uh means less shots from the kurosawa which is not exactly what i want and it's pretty much just 100 points in the weight difference there so I think for your money. And then again, I guess I could go to lighter arms again. I think the big arms kind of help though. But the lighter ones have better recoil control. That's weird. I guess you really are just getting armor out of that. My reaction speed's higher though. Which is something you want.
Hey, Dadsy's a stupid looking head, though. What are you gonna do? What if I swamped the pistol? Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Now we got some radar. Or I can just go back to the uh, howitzer. The howitzer is pretty good too. Bushido Blade? Oh, that'd be fun. I don't know if I could beat Bushido Blade even. Bushido Blade's fucking hard. It was crazy when you got stabbed in Bushido Blade, but we're still alive and wounded. It was such a good versus game because the rounds were so quick. Like, playing against your friends was fun for that. Also, you didn't have to memorize any moves or anything. It was literally just kind of up to you to... Like, hey... <laughs> Get good. Yeah, I think for my money, the howitzer is better. That being said, if I was hitting him with the handgun, I can't even tell. Yeah, the rifle did just a little bit more damage, but he's definitely suffering from heat damage there. Well, that's valuable information, isn't it? The rifle has longer range, which means I'm able to use it on him at a longer distance. And in addition to that, more damage. So the rifle kind of wins out. However, the howitzer could also do really well too. So, I mean, just for the sake of argument, let's check out the garage and try the uh, howitzer. As much as I'd like to have these uh, offhand weapons, if the howitzer is still just better, then, you know, why not use it? Yeah, rodeo's good practice. Finding games are good for finding random fights in Flirth. Uh, I think one thing fighting games are bad for is like having a group of friends because there's always going to be that skill disparity between the people who have the most time and the people who have the least time. Is doing good work. Yeah. You had to, you had to say the rifle is going to be what I want. Don't get me wrong, the howitzer, the damage is great, but there's a delay on the flight, so if they're really agile like that, yeah. Catching them with the howitzer explosion is actually a bit harder than pinging them with that uh, rifle due to the fast projectile speed. We'll shut my mouth. All right. And that's how you learn what works best for you.
Yep. I would say this configuration suits me just fine. We have a nice uh, head with some good radar on it. Had to go with some shrimpier arms, but it, you know, the reaction speed issue is probably not too severe. But if it is, we'll swap the head and go back to the uh, fatter arms. Let's give it a try. I streamed Smash. I think I streamed it. I don't remember. I think I did that on Twitch. Is it like fears of Nintendo copyright? I don't remember. Yep, that's all she wrote. So did you see the difference there? <laughs> There's a lot going on, or you might suspect. reaction speed that provides functional radar target acquisitioning and a lot of other benefits but we also have the lighter arms and uh you know it just works out all around better i like it uh this day taking better care of your sega cd wouldn't have worked uh the cd units the actual like laser reader in there was like cheap and faulty those are inevitably broke at least if you used it at all like you want your sega cd to stay functional you just either don't use it or replace the uh laser diode and a few other pieces i think the sega cd emulation is good enough i did like the sega cd though it had like the load and read button uh load and read lights on it so it looked super high tech even though i mean i guess it was super high tech for the time a nice little aesthetic to it. Boot menu's fun. Well, I got extra weight here, huh? The decoys aren't bad. Disrupt the lock on of missiles in flight usage 10. Does that mean I can only use it like it only does 10 rockets or is it like something that activates and then goes Bwah! and I can do it 10 times? Hard to say. Keeps not bad you uh you know pop your generator you can pop that thing and uh recharge your energy in fact you can use that to cheese the hell out of enemies just uh empty out a whole bunch of uh, plasma on something then poof, poof, and go back in and double tap it again if you just want to like damage dump on something I'm going to go with the auxiliary booster for quick turns. That would have helped me earlier. And I think that rounds out our bot just to where I like it. I can make the head lighter. We could probably get another back weapon, but I don't think that's necessary.
and this head comes with a lot of really nice stuff good map type uh provided radar standard of course but not bad detailed calm also doesn't look too goofy which I, I hate it but the, <laughs> the little uh whatever the hell this thing is little cuckoo bird head thing is one of the better ones save uh, about a hundred pounds there or kilos or whatever the big stupid head's good too but you have to like buy a radar you're gonna want a radar of course in the arena you probably don't need it as much but uh yeah radar is not bad i like this though this works i wish i could paint the uh boosters on the shoulders there but oh uh, you can't have everything Oh, you can have everything, but it takes a lot of work. A lot of balancing. Like, this guy's pretty deadly in the arena. He's got quite a few things going for him, but... You can also do better work on him. Hold on. Just for the sake of fun. Let's, uh... Give him an appropriate arsenal. some more complimentary I'm buying the lightweight machine gun I'll probably enjoy it oh yeah look my money's going a little low and that's something later spirit I don't know what to do with this guy.
There we go. That's something. Big ammo. Still liking this one. Liking this one. I like the offhand rifle, Karasawa, chain gun, quick turns, good head. And who doesn't like some good head? Oh, hey, thank you, Garg. I just like to play the games. You know, Armor Core is a chill experience. You'd think, oh, it's so complicated and hard. It's like, no. Like, once you, once you go into the garage and you put something together that works and you can, like, really have a feel for how it works in combat and how you're going to utilize it, it is excellent. That being said, Garg, this is a Wednesday, usually on stream only. So I got to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm past the airport. I'm past my time limit. Hope that would have gotten more missions done by now. But we did build a pretty cool robot. Actually, we built two pretty good robots here. But I think these two are a little bit too similar in armament. I, I feel like I need something a little different. Like this guy needs to be mega missiles or something. But I don't know. The tank is kind of like the same. Yeah, the tank's like the same configuration, but maybe for the long haul? Uh, I guess. Like, same kit, extra ammo, maybe a little bit more accuracy, but slower. I don't know, just not, not quite feeling this one. He needs something more. This guy's not bad, though. I like him. He's got his rapid fire, he's got his heavy energy based explosive, and his offhand rifle for bonus damage. The only thing he's really missing is missiles. So I think if I was going to do anything to change this guy for a multi roll type of deal, it would be to add missiles. But if I add missiles, I can't get the options because I need the... I need the shoulder pads to turn. And that's where I think this game gets most interesting when you're trying to like figure it out. It's like, well, how do I make this tank robot sing? Like, how do I make it, you know, adhere to its best advantages? And a lot of the times it's just unlocking new stuff. There's weapons that I still don't have. A varying weight, charge capacities and other stats that could, you know, make or break a robot like this. Now, if I had a choice between them, I'd probably rather pilot this guy than this guy in a versus fight because this one's really mobile and has a really high damage plasma gun and a good uh, generator and a lot of other nice stuff going for it. This guy's uh, nothing to sneeze at, though. He's more impressive than I thought he'd be, and we managed to keep him bipedal, which is fun. Open mic night. Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> First of all, letting anybody on stream without vetting them is rough, and even if you do vet them, Everybody has a different idea of what's acceptable, not acceptable to say, and unfortunately, YouTube's makes the final decision on that. And everybody I've talked to that skirts it over the line wants to argue with Google. I'm like, that's fine. You're probably right. Google most likely is too sensitive, but they're not going to listen to you, and they had the keys of the castle. So just because it's not fair doesn't mean that you can just still, you know what I mean? You can't sit there going, well, it's not fair. I should be able to say this. It's like, yeah, I know you should on the other end it's like here's the here's where we're at <laughs> what are we gonna do right well anyways i'm gonna get some shut eye i'm getting a little drowsy you gotta be up early tomorrow so you'll have a good night i appreciate you for watching i appreciate you chatting thank you for dropping votes thank you for dropping likes it helps i appreciate you and uh yeah it makes it a lot more encouraging to pop on extra when i got a little free time at night so just getting some extra sleep a little bit extra game time is fun too but that being said the results of the poll of will you get armored core six at launch is yes at 54 and no at 45 with 96 votes Ooh, fancy a lot of pre-orders out there can't say i'm out of that category i'm looking forward to that game mighty fears thank you matthias i appreciate that garg doof sister a woodsman Preston, Garg, Sleepy Dog Zone. Y'all have a good night. Thank you for watching. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for dropping a like. And thank you for your financial support. 
Matthias, Negan, and Molten Amber. I appreciate you more. Night can express. It helps out a lot. That being said, I'm going to lay down. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. See you again tomorrow.